After a nice night in a campsite, we ascend our ropes and continue climbing. It is uh, 6.03. 6.03. We've jugged up the sickle. And we're off. There's a party ahead of us that got stuck on the soap lakes last night. Would not envy them. But here we go. I'm off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Another part of our plan is to stop halfway up the fifth pitch and build an anchor out of gear rather than using the bolted belay stations. This gives enough distance for our 60 meter rope so I can swing over to the other side rather than doing a high friction zigzag. Okay, Chris, I'm safe. This is our gear anchor that we hauled from, and uh, we are off on the second half of pitch five with some new beta. Okay, take. Okay, hang on. Okay, good. Okay, try again. Here we go again. Oh, got it. All right, I'm in this thing. All right, All right come on over. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, no problem. Very right, chill. Can I pull it? Nope. Yeah, yeah, right on. It's a huge success. We saved over an hour versus the first time we tried this section.
Okay. Okay, slack, slack, slack. We make it past the tricky traverse and reach the base of the Stove Lakes crack system. This is a beautiful singular crack that goes all the way up to Dole Tower. Chris finishes the climbing up to Dull Tower. We're ahead of schedule, so we're able to stop for a nice lunch break before continuing the last three pitches of the day. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. I might end up... Actually, I got three threes. Yeah. I take over for the last two pitches, but the crack gets wider and the climbing harder, so I switch back to A climbing. <laughs> to save weight, we only bring two of the large size 4 Camelots. With half the pitch at this exact size, it's quite unnerving to be hanging from only these two pieces for so long. Actually, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, bumping might be better. Oh, yes, I think that's the way. Yeah, baby! We make it to El Cap Tower, our goal of the day, well before dark. It's by far the largest and most comfortable ledge of the entire route, with plenty of room to make camp and cook a delicious meal. Side note, the peak chicken alfredo pasta gets 5 Yelp stars.